This brother was one of the last pure hustles out there. Man, he ain't even have no main hustle. You never seen this guy scheme the same scheme twice. Whatever he was selling yesterday ain't even for sale no more. There's some whole other things. You could you can't match this guy, man. I remember one episode, he had a jar full of quarters and bro didn't speak the whole episode, just staring at the jar smiling. If he won the lottery, he would buy another ticket. <laughs> Eddie is a character that could not be remade, however the hell they wrote him was so unique. That alone is odd, Eddie has so much game that he had no game and that doesn't stop him. So much game that he had no game, I like it, I like it. Life is a sandwich, anyway, you flip it, the bread comes first. Oh, okay, okay. Eddie was on a different timing and they don't make him like bro no more. Spin facts bro, I, I believe you. Mr. Make it happen. He loved the hustle more than the paper. That's what I'm saying bro, he just liked the game. You think that and then you rewatch the show and realize he was doing it all for that three quarters bro. All for some quarters. A homeless man asked Eddie for money and Eddie walked away with more than he came with. <laughs> Eddie sold the homeless man something, what? Whatever he was selling yesterday ain't even on sale no more. Facts, Eddie was always looking for a new method, bro. Always switching it up. Never sold the same thing two days in a row because people knew. Once I saw Eddie walk right past the penny because he said, That's so easy! Bro convinced every kid in the neighborhood it was still summer so he could keep selling. That's some shit Eddie would do. Remember when Eddie thought the moon was a jawbreaker and he schemed adding the making in the elevator out of cardboard that made it out of the stratosphere? Yo, I gotta go back and watch this show because some of these plots are hilarious. Bro's doing stuff for the sake of doing it. Addicted to the game. They stole Jimmy's animation out of line and tried to set him back. In the end, he may have always failed, but bro never gave up chasing the bag, went right back to it, hustling the next day. That is the point. Never gave up and always put his bros on. Always had his bros right there. And he never kept any of what he made at the end of the day. His obsession was not tempered by discipline and therefore led to his downfall each and every time. Hey man, this guy is on some different type of timing. What the fuck? Married to the game. The best hustle done by Eddie was the fridge sized fruit pops. Facts, bro. That was a goat episode. Those were actually like a good product too. Like, Eddie was my spirit animal. Yesterday's price is not today's gang. Facts. <laughs> Yesterday's price is not today's. It went up. Price went up, nigga. It's called inflation. Don't forget, he always put his boys on too, man. People, rec real recognized real, bro. People know that Eddie was not one to leave the boys behind. I see him fail, but I never seen him give up. Come on! It was never about the paper. It was always about the love of the game. This is my generation, bro. This is my fucking generation in this comment section right here. All of them. Ed taught me that when you hustle, that means someone else is getting hustled. So what happens when everyone is aware of the hustlers? No more hustling. My man would spend hours working on something. Am I supposed to believe it was for a quarter? Nah, it was for the love of the game. He wanted the journey. He wanted the experience of trying to get that fucking quarter out of their pocket into his he was in love with the game man and that's why i respect eddie a top 10 cartoon on cartoon network subscribe if i should look at some more of our favorite cartoon characters from cartoon network disney channel nickelodeon